Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. I started this layout by wetting one of the papers in the collection. This is obviously the white one. Uh, I just really love this white one because it has that kind of subtle wash to it so it's like creamy and white and flowy. Uh, a bit like a cloud. And it was just a beautiful piece of white paper. Still super plain and super white, but just had that extra little pop to it. And I was really undecided whether to use any mixed media on this, but we've had these Vicky Booten's um, watercolours before in a different colour palette. And they are just so smooth and creamy. I was busting to give them a try on the very first layout of the month. So I just decided I would do the watercolours. Why not? So I added some water to the paper. Obviously, this is not um, mixed media specific paper. So the water just like totally sucked up into the paper and just vanished in a second. And you can see that because you can see that it's hardly left a mark at all. But that didn't matter in the slightest. The Vicky Booten watercolours just still went on really, really lush uh, and really, really beautifully. So as you can see, I just did a little bit of packaging technique. I'm going to be putting my photos in a strip along the bottom um, and along the top. So I just was wanting some of the colours to like pop out and under and around the photos. I didn't want them the colour to be too overpowering. I just wanted it to sort of add. And this is going to be a really monochromatic layout um, with all these just the same sort of orangey tone throughout the whole thing. So I'm just doing everything in this beautiful metallic bronze because it is a gorgeous colour and I love it. So I'm going to leave that to dry and come back, obviously for you, come back instantaneously. But for me, I'm actually going to leave it for the entire day and come back tomorrow. It in no way takes that long for this to dry. I am just working in the small amount of time that I can find around my family life. So I'm also popping on some splatters. This is literally just scooping up the watery um, metallic paint and just flicking it on. All good. Um, so now that we are dry and we are back, you can see one, how much the color just dramatically changes when it's dry. It is just so shiny and coppery and metallic now. It is stunning. And you can see the layout I'm going for here. So you can just sort of see those pops of colors just coming in and under the photos and it just really lifts. I just love it. You can see I also created one of my cut files there, which is uh, the mini golf cut file. We are obviously playing mini golf. And of course, in this collection, in this kit, there's nothing specific mini golf related. So I love this collection and I think the colors are mint. So instead of, you know, saving these photos for whoops almost upside down saving these photos for a different collection I don't have any collections that have anything to do with mini golf and I'm not going to go and buy one so I decided to make a cut file so I've put on the title mini golf got those two bits of ephemera that's like connected to the cut file with the flagpole and the um golf ball and then the um putter couldn't think of that word for a minute there so now I feel I am free to just go crazy with all the things from the kit because that will already help tie everything in together I am also adding on these little bits of memorabilia which is just the scorecard there to help sort of tell us what our scores were and this is what prompted the whole orange feel the scorecard is obviously um the, got quite a bit of orange on it as you can see and it was quite difficult to use with a different layout. But with this layout, it worked like a dream because orange was such a prominent color in this collection. So I was good to rock and roll. So I actually pulled all the orange bits and there was a lot. There was too many for me to use them all, but I pulled them all out anyway. And I'm going to put as many as I can onto this page because it's cute and I want to. So I'm putting on the little eyes for my mini golf. I almost actually forgot them. I love that banner there that I have used with the flowers. It's almost like a necklace, but not. And I love it. So that was like the first thing I just knew I was putting on. And now I'm just playing with this cluster here near the putter. 
Uh, I adore that snail. So I desperately wanted that snail on here as well. Uh, and I'm just filling her up. Sunglasses, flowers, all the things that are orange. I really wanted to get the combi van on there. I was so desperate to get the combi van on there. But I didn't think about it in advance. And unfortunately, the combi van was a little bit tall and it covered not important parts of the photos, but parts that I wasn't willing to cover, which is annoying because if I had have used like pretty much any of the photos in the top row, there's nothing important happening down the bottom and that could have been covered. Anyway, we move on. So just building up, as I said, those clusters there, I just want to use a whole bunch of different orange supplies and just really throw the orange things on this page because it is fun. And you can see already with the amount of mixed media that I'd put in the background, how little of it you can see. Just I knew that I was going to have basically eight photos. Obviously, the memorabilia are not photos, but they're essentially the same size. So I already knew that just so much of this page was going to be covered. So I knew not to worry too much. Um, just building up my last cluster, I've got the three clusters and you can see that they are going to make a beautiful little triangle. Draw your eye all the way around the page and check everything out. Just pulling a few little bits and bobs off the sticker sheet now. Um, I did rely heavily on the ephemera pack for no real reason. The sticker sheet is stunning, but I just pulled all the orange things out of the ephemera pack. So now I'm going to have a little play with the sticker sheet. Love me some tiny word phrases. So just popping those on as well as a couple of little flowers just to kind of, um, I just like the idea of having each of my clusters have sections of similarity. So that's why I like to put the little word phrases in each one. Now I'm popping on some splatters. I used the gold first. I probably could have used a copper splatter because I do have one, but I just went with gold and realized you couldn't really see it. So then I decided to add a little bit of black as well. And this is layout number one complete for this month. I love this kit and I love this collection and it's been so much fun to work with. And I cannot wait till you see what I create next week. So make sure you stick around and check out next week's layout because it's a super cool one too. Bye everyone.